Hi guys, welcome back to our channel and welcome to my tiny weird laundry. As you can see, my laundry in all its 70s glory is as you walk into our bathroom. So it's a bit strange and we just have to make it work. So today I'm gonna to go through my minimalist, laundry routine for a large family. We are a family of seven, so there's a lot of clothes, and this is how I make it work and keep it super simple. So for me, when I first became a homemaker, laundry was my nemesis. I just never found the right way that worked for me. I tried all sorts of different routines and none of them worked quite right. So what I ended up doing was looking at where it was all falling over. And for me, I could get the clothes clean, I could get the clothes hung out, I could get them sometimes bought in, but where I would fall over is the putting away. So I had to devise a routine that would force me to finish this whole cycle and I'll show you how I did that using some weird mental hacks that make me do it. So the first thing I do is every night, if I have a full load, I will set it to go so that when I wake up in the morning, like right now, it's already finished running just before I wake up. So I set it to go for like if eight hours and then it'll be finished like at 6 a.m. when I'm waking up so that I have a load of laundry that's already clean and ready to go once I get up. And then if I have another load, which I do today, so I wash every single day and I wash at least one, if not two loads of clothes. And then I also do one load of something else, at least. Some days it's gonna be two because life happens but I either do some towels, some beach towels, or the whole set of somebody's bedding. So um, one of the whole beds, and that includes everything, pillowcases, um, co quilt covers, all of that in one go. So that is how I get it all done in the morning. And then the next thing I do is I hang it out straight away. And I'll show you how I do that. I will find a place for an LG washer dryer combo. There is a dryer that came with the apartment that belongs here, so I don't actually use that at all. This is a 7.5 kilo LG. I got it for about $1,000 um, on a sale. And so it's a huge investment for a washer dryer, but I absolutely love it. But I never actually just set it to do the whole wash dry combo. I just get it to wash and then if I want it to dry, I just put those things back in because anything that goes on hangers, I hang up straight away. Just helps things to be less creased and it makes putting away infinitely easier. So today it's really overcast outside. So I'm gonna put in just the things that don't need to be hung up back in the dryer and I'll show you how I set that. So guys, as you can see, at least it, more than half usually it can be hung. And so everything else I just put back in the dryer. Now, I always wash everything to have the highest possible spin cycle. So everything comes out super dry. But I'll show you just in case you have a washer dryer. It took me ages to work out how to do this. So you turn it on, you press dry, and then I, most of our clothes take about an hour to dry. And so you just go 30, 60, and then turn off the spin. Now, if you haven't used a washer dryer before, the dryer is very different to a normal set, like a dryer on its own, because it uses condensation drying. And I don't fully understand it, but it basically, it uses the steam created in the dryer to dry the clothes. So when you pull the clothes out, they feel 
almost slightly damp. They'll feel warm, but slightly damp. And so when you get them out, if you leave them in the basket just for a few minutes, once they're cooled down, they really are dry. But it was something that confused me so badly when I first got this dryer. But I really love it. It washes and dries the clothes so, so well. I can't recommend these enough, especially if you're in a small space, like an apartment, or if you have a, a laundry that's just in a cupboard. Because it uses condensation drying, it doesn't heat up the home and it doesn't create the humidity. I live in the tropics, so we already have plenty of humidity, and so this is perfect for us. One of the little hacks that I have found really helpful is to make it as obnoxious as possible for me to do the laundry every single day. So I actually got rid of all of our washing dirty laundry hampers or baskets. I just get everyone to put their dirty clothes in the laundry sink. I never use it anyway. And then that way when it's full, I have to put a load of washing on. Everybody walks through here to use my bathroom. So it's so obnoxious that I just have to do it every day. So guys, when I'm ready to put some washing on, I always wash on a quick 30. I find it's just fine. And I always wash in cold water. And like I said, I always put it on the highest spin cycle. So it spins out really, really dry. So as far as laundry products that I use, all these ultra cheap products from Aldi, and I find that they do a fantastic job. This laundry laundry powder is $3.99 for a four kilo box and it lasts for ages, like over a month. If you've watched any of my grocery hauls, you know that how much I absolutely love this pre-wash stain remover. It is the best thing ever. I've tried lots of different ones. This one, it's $1.25, it's so good. I use this Dyson Oxy in wash booster not for every load but for a lot of them especially if it's towels or sheets or really dirty clothes um, i use about an eighth of a cup it's fantastic and it's only three dollars and then i use this green action um, fabric softener i think it's about a dollar 70 for a liter and i actually put that in one of these little pump bottles. It was just an old soft soap one. And then I just squeeze in a couple of pumps. You really don't need very much and it goes a long way. And this is way less messy than trying to get it in like that. And then I just put all of the laundry powder into here so it's easy for me to get to. And it does a perfect job. With the stuff that needs to get hung, I just keep all my um, currently unused hangers in here and then I just hang them all up in here and then because this is in the center of our house and it has an exhaust fan, it dries within a couple of hours. So guys, as I said before, the hardest thing for me was the getting it folded, getting it put away part of laundry. So to overcome that, as I showed you before, I hang them up in my laundry to dry and then when they're ready to be put away, they're already done. All they need to be done is just put in the, to the cupboard. And if you haven't already seen it, I have a video on our minimalist family closet and how I make that work. But this has been a game changer for me because like 60% of our clothes get hung straight up. The only thing that I need to put away are underwear, kids shorts and skirt and towels. And I get the kids to help with that. And so this just goes straight up in the closet.
So guys, all I do is grab out any empty coat hangers and then I put them back in my laundry and this process makes everything so much quicker and easier and I force myself to do it every day. I actually only have two laundry baskets which means I must do it in order to keep everything moving because if I've got clean clothes sitting in one of those baskets it's going to halt up the whole process for the next day. So I physically make myself do it. It's probably just because, you know, human nature says I don't want to do it, so I don't. But I hope that maybe you found something helpful in today's video that you can practice if you hate laundry and want to make it simpler. If you're new here, we would absolutely love to have you subscribe. And here are some other videos that we have if you want to check them out. And if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and I will catch you guys in the next one.